So we've been looking for a house for months and you finally found the perfect house. Great location, great school, great neighborhood, great everything. Check all of your boxes and you love it. With 10 other people that love the house too. So we're gonna have a multiple offer situation. So today I'm gonna talk about escalation costs. Like what is it, escalation? Is it the same like escalator? Um, so if you wanna know more about it, don't go anywhere. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade Juono and I'm a local realtor with Realty Executives Brio. So if you're thinking about buying or selling around Seattle metro area, please let me know. I will put my info down below. For quite some time now, we see a lot of multiple offers. Right now, it's May 2022. If you're thinking about buying a house that's above 2 million, maybe you don't really need escalation costs. But if you're thinking about buying a house that's under 1 million, most likely we are still gonna have multiple offers and then it's best if you put escalation costs. So like this one, uh, it's our new listing about Two weeks ago, we had seven offers and one offer without escalation clause. So guess who wins? The one that had the escalation clause. And another one, this one was 10 offers. There's two without escalation clause. And guess who wins? The one with escalation clause. So with this escalation clause, maybe can help you be the winning offer. So escalation clause, it's an addendum that's added to the buyer's contract, uh, buyer's purchase and sale agreement. Basically stating the buyer is willing to pay above the highest price of X amount of dollar. And with escalation clause, we will have a ceiling. So that way the buyer is not gonna pay more than they can afford. And let me explain how all this work out. I'm gonna be using some numbers so you can better understand. So just say after looking for houses, you pick this one house listed at 700,000. And you're like, hey Ade, I really love the house. I wanna put offer on it. So with that, I will call the listing agent to get a feel if there's gonna be multiple offers. So just say the house, it's 700, right? And the listing agent was like, hey, the house is really popular. We're really expecting multiple offers. So that's when I'm going to put escalation clause on that offer. And the house was 700, right? So with 700, just say you're willing to go up to 750. So listed at 700, your maximum ceiling is 750 for maybe just because that's what you get approved for. And with escalation clause, there's also increments. With the increments, the number we can discuss it again when in person, because every house is different, every, everything it's a it's little bit different depending on the market, depending on how many showings and how many offers in hand. All that little detail I will find out for you. That way you can decide on what's the increments, what's really the highest number that you wanna go or you can go. And keep in mind, escalation clause, it's one of the contract that can help you win the house. There's other contract, but that's gonna be for another video. So all in all, escalation clause, it's an addendum that's added to your contract to make your offer appear stronger and give you a better chance of winning when there is multiple offer situation, right? But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'm really happy that, that I can come back to YouTube. Okay, thank you guys. See you on the next one. Bye.